let's put one of these inductors into a circuit. That would be called an LR circuit. An LR circuit is just a circuit with an inductor and a resistor in it. So let's draw one here with a battery. Battery's making an EMF. And kind of like the capacitor, the RC circuits, we want to put a switch in it so that we can have time equals zero, where we can turn things on and off, you know. And then come down and have our resistor R and have our inductor L. And then finish off the circuit like that. Okay, so what do we do? Well, we apply. Kirchhoff's loop rule. That should work. So to apply Kirchhoff's loop rule, we define the current. I'm going to start writing small i's for current now. I'm tired of the capital I. That just means current. And we say we always want to go clockwise when we apply the loop rule, just to be consistent. So you can say, I'm going to start here. And if I'm a test charge, moving across this battery, that's going to be plus E, EMF, because I'm going from the low plate, low potential to high potential. And I move around, I'm moving with the current across a resistor, that's a potential drop, so it's minus IR. Right. And let's see, now I'm going through an inductor. Okay. Now let's see, if the current is this way through the inductor, we know that the inductor, uh, due to Lenz's law, always opposes any change. So if the current were to change, this would be a back EMF. We've talked about how inductors make back EMFs, and the EMF we know is L, the inductance, times di dt. So when you're going with the current past an inductor, it's L, it's minus L di dt. So we have that drop, and then we're back where we started, okay? equals zero. Go around the loop, it equals zero. So here is an equation where we need to solve for i, and it's another differential equation. We have i, current as a function of time, and we have the derivative, di dt. And solving for these is always a matter of just using the right tricks. So here, let's divide by r. And using the right tricks is a matter of experience. Minus i minus l over r di dt um, equals 0. So when you take differential equations, you're really just learning tricks, more or less. Well, there's some math in there too, but you're also learning all the tricks. If you've never had differential equations, the next few units will be useful. I'm going to teach you some of the differential equations tricks. If you've had them, you may just stop here and say you know the solution. I don't know. Okay, so the trick in this case is to substitute x equals, and we're going to make this our variable, um, the EMF over R minus I. So we substitute in, that'll just become x, but then we have to deal with di dt. So when you look at this, if you were to calculate dx di, it would be minus 1. Right? dx di, that, the derivative of that with respect to i is 0, derivative of that with respect to i is minus 1. So if dx di is minus 1, then dx equals minus di. If you bring it back around, you'll just get dx is minus di. So if we make that substitution, we can rewrite this thing as here is x. And uh, so x is EMF over R minus I, and then minus L over R. And then this is di dt. Well, if we want to change that to x, there's actually a negative sign. It has to get changed. And it just becomes dx dt equal 0. All right, so that substitution just makes it a little bit easier to deal with. Because now we can use our trick we used when we were doing the capacitor differential equations. We bring this over here, and we bring the x over the dx. Right? So x over dx, bring this term over here and divide through by the dx, equals minus, because we brought it over there, it became minus, um, oh, sorry. Let's not do that. Let's do the correct thing. Uh, we want to bring this term over here and say it's dx over x, this is all over there, equals minus um, uh, r over l dt. 
There we go. That's what we want to do. See, I forgot the tricks. OK, and then now we integrate both sides. Right, so integrate. Here we're integrating with respect to x. Here we're integrating with respect to time. And this is when we have to think about our initial conditions. This is why we have the switch here. So we say, actually, the switch is open like this, and you close at t equals 0. So we're going to see what the behavior is starting at time 0 up to some time t. What's it doing t seconds after time equals 0? And we know that x, whatever this x is, it's going to start at x naught. And we're trying to see what happens when it goes to x. So we set up that integral very similar to the capacitance equations. And this, these are the boundary conditions assuming x equals x naught at t equals 0. So now we just need to integrate.